So you've installed the Gatwick, the newest Gatwick add-on. It's in the community folder, but when you start at Gatwick, you just see default scenery. If you zoom over to the Airbridge area to confirm that it's the, the default scenery, you'll see a building on the ground. So the jetways are automatic GSX jetways that that start at any default airport in the settings. So there's the confirmation, the, just a building on the ground, no air bridge. You need to uh, go into settings first, general options, data, and just check your cache, make sure it's managed on with a limited 8 gigabyte cache limit this is to stop if you go into a manual cache setting which is large you may have uh, old indexes of add-ons left over still in the cache so that can cause a problem so you need to go shut down delete the Gatwick add-on from the community directory then go to flightsim.to and search for some of my older uploads mkvy and then you'll see an old version there version 5.5 .5, about three years old so download that some of my older uploads are rare files as so you need to download winzip or portable 7zip i prefer the portable version of 7zip just browse to the older gatwick version and drag the gatwick folder into the community folder and there's the confirmation so just start again and then you'll see the older version of gatwick if you zoom over to the air bridge you can see it's an older model from three years ago and that confirms that the older version is installed correctly so shut down uh, flight simulator and delete the Gatwick older version from the community directory then go to the newest version the latest version if you've downloaded it and just uh, copy the Gatwick folder into the community directory So there's confirmation as it should be. Start flight simulator. And when you browse the map you'll see a star, a yellow star. That's that means it's a add-on airport. And starting at Gatwick you can see now that the newest latest version is definitely installed zooming over to the air bridge you can see that it's the newer model and that's one way of getting the add-on working if you're having problems